Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra. For today's video, I'm gonna be getting my freezer all organized. As you guys know, I have a baby coming soon and I want to go ahead and organize the freezer meals that I've made for Chris. I'll share my month long fr freezer meal plan that I've created for him. And then we're going to come up with some recipes we can make to clear the freezers a little bit. The freezers are stuffed full again. I just did a freezer clean out challenge a couple of times um, a little while ago, but I need to do it again. So this is a freezer clean out challenge and organization video, as well as a month long meal plan um, for maybe if you're planning to not cook for a month uh, or if you're having a baby or something, I find it could be helpful. So lots of things in this video. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you're new here and you wanna see future videos from me. All right, I'll uh, let you guys see what we're doing here. Okay, so we're gonna go through this meal plan together. This is a 28 day meal plan broken up by days of the week and different proteins. Um, now I've done this because I'm having a baby and this is just really easy for my husband to be able to just know what we're eating and grab it out of the freezer and make it. Um, a lot of the things are either the components are frozen or the um, whole meal is frozen. So I'll go through that with you. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go through and organize my freezer and put all the stuff that is meals for this meal plan into a different bag so he knows literally like exactly where to grab it. I make it as easy as possible so that we don't order too much takeout. I got this template from one of the home study vlogs I watched, but I cannot remember which one, but I will definitely link it down below for you. It was a free printable um, with customizable protein options. So we've got this and then I've also done um, a grocery list. Oops, it's right here. A grocery list for weeks one and two and three and four to make it really easy for like toppings or stuff like that that may be uh, needed additionally. Okay, so we'll start right at the top here. For Mondays, we've got chicken pot pie, which is already frozen with a salad he'll have to make separately. Greek salad and chicken. I have some pre frozen chicken breast that I cooked and froze. So I should really write freezer there. Uh, and then he'll just have to make the Greek salad, chicken burgers and frozen vegetables, and couscous chicken and vegetables, maybe peas or wax beans, like a canned vegetable. Next, we've got the fish week, salmon, rice, and veg or vegetable fried rice, whatever he prefers, battered fish, fries with tartar sauce, so like these two things obviously are already pre-made. Um, so there'll be chicken burgers in the freezer and fish in the freezer. <clears throat> Salmon, you just have to pull out, make rice or a sidekick or whatever. Fish tacos with coleslaw topping. Battered fish with fries and tartar sauce. So as the week goes on or the month goes on, I have things that are like requiring a little bit more. I tried to make it really easy at the beginning with most of the meal frozen. And then as like weeks three and four come, it's a little bit, you know, more labor intensive <laughs> with the fish tacos in particular, making coleslaw, that kind of thing. Um, actually, usually I make my own coleslaw, but he'll probably just buy a bag of coleslaw. That's totally fine. So then we've got beef week here. We've got beef stroganoff, which is already made in the freezer. He just has to make some rice and egg noodles and then some broccoli, which is already frozen. He just has to heat up. Uh, spaghetti and garlic bread. I've got the sauce in the freezer. Just has to make the spaghetti and the garlic bread's pre-made in the freezer as well. Power skillet uh, is already frozen. I said with fruit, whatever side. Chili is uh, already frozen. Uh, I said maybe with baked potatoes. I'm so just giving him some options. He doesn't have to do these. Uh, then we've got our uh, vegetarian, basically, week. So we've got a uh, nice soup in the freezer already. And I just told him, please top it with sour cream for me. And then grilled cheese with that. Then I've got corn soup, which is already in the freezer. That's one of my favorites. Um, and I topped that again with sour cream and bacon. And I said to serve that with bread. White bean shakshuka. Um, so he's just got a cook the dried beans in the Instant Pot in advance with a baguette. And then bean burritos, uh, the filling and the tortillas will be in the freezer for him. He just has to chop up some lettuce and basically put it together. Then Friday, we've got chicken again, right? Yeah, chicken and beef are repeated twice. So we've got white chicken chili, which is already in the freezer. He just has to crush up some Tostitos and make a salad. 
chicken Caesar salad with Nan, which is in the freezer. Chicken, couscous, and asparagus. The Nan's in the freezer, just to clarify. <laughs> uh, so he just has to literally cook some chicken broth, couscous, and asparagus. So that's pretty easy. Uh, chicken and mushroom soup, potatoes and carrots. And we've got pork. Um, I've cooked some ribs, which are already in the freezer. So he just has to take them out and put barbecue sauce on them and then make wedges, vegetables, sidekicks, whatever he feels like up to making. Then I've got BLTs here with romaine instead of iceberg lettuce. Pork tacos, which the filling is already in the freezer. Coleslaw, again, because there's coleslaw here, so he'll use the coleslaw again. And then he just has to make pickled onions, which is pretty easy. Uh, pork meatball lettuce wraps. The pork meatballs will already be in the freezer. Um, and again, he just has to like make a dressing for the coleslaw. We might have to buy more coleslaw or something there, I guess. Maybe I have that for two weeks. I don't really know what I've done there, but, um, okay. And then, uh, it's beef again. So we've got nachos I put on the toppings, uh, hamburgers and wedges. I already pre-cooked the hamburgers even. So he just has to unthaw them and make wedges. Just, just stick them in the air fryer. They're really easy. We've got meatball what is that oh meatball subs sorry i've already uh frozen the meatballs in marinara he just has to cut up some lettuce and put some cheddar on easy and then spaghetti again with garlic bread and the spaghetti sauce is in the freezer and i said he can make some quinoa salad if he wants to replace some of the sides because i have a recipe for that as well so there's 28 days because there's probably going to be leftovers of some days so um, you know, it'll do about a month and then if he really needs to, he can repeat it or hopefully we'll be able to figure it out after a month. Um, and of course, probably in there, I imagine we're going to be a little tired. So I imagine we'll probably get a bit of takeout and things like that. So that allows for that as well. All right, let's go ahead and get to that freezer. All right, so here's the list I've compiled of things that came out of the freezer that I need to basically use. I would like to use these things before the baby comes if I can, so that the freezer is literally just full of exactly what Chris needs to make meals. And then I've got a little meal plan here um, based on the random assortment of things that I have. So I also did the little freezer. Okay, so the first thing I have is bones for turkey bones for soup, two packages of sausages for Chris's work, seven chicken burgers, one sheet of puff pastry, a can of crushed tomatoes, a bag of milk, uh, potatoes and corn, chicken stock in two cups, one cup, three cup, different sizes. I have some KFC gravy, some Parmesan bagels, regular bagels, sub buns, hot dog buns, hamburger buns, English muffins, caramel sauce, just like half a jar. Um, pie crust, frozen turkey, and spinach, like deli meat turkey. So I'm going to make mini quiches with that. Now this is the frozen meat section. I've got a package of drumsticks, pork tenderloin times six, beef times four, shredded chicken, shredded dark meat turkey, cooked chicken breast, one whole one, uh, three packages of wings, steaks, four steaks, chicken breast, um, package of one, I have two packages of one and one package of two. Uh, pork chops, another gravy that's homemade. Trezo times four. And I've got three bags of cream cheese, bananas, olives, cilantro, tortillas, one piece of garlic toast, breakfast sausages, um, two packages of that. And then I also have a couple pre-cooked ones. 
uh, pizza sauce. My writing's getting really good here. <laughs> Pepita salsa times two. Uh, fondant. I've got a couple different colors, but I'm going to use the lemon icing and the black fondant for Alice's birthday cake in a couple weeks. So I can get that used up. Frozen peppers and onions. Uh, frozen bags of onion that's been like pureed. Uh, I have no idea how I'm going to use that, but... Uh, then I've got blue, a bit of blue cheese, like half a package. And then I've got some things frozen, half done for me to make freezer meals. So I've got two packages of ground pork. I'm going to make meatballs and sausage rolls with those. And then I've got frozen pinto beans for the bean burritos. And then these are extra freezer meals we can eat. So we've got pea soup uh, times three, one turkey dinner, one pork filling, Oh, that's a uh, pork taco meat, I mean. Spaghetti sauce and squash. I've got, oops, I've got pre-made wraps, pomegranate seeds, and pogos. If you guys are watching some of my freezer challenges, you know that I've had those pomegranate seeds for literally 80 years. I don't even know if they're usable <laughs> at this point. I can never figure out what to do with them. I always come up with a plan and then I'm like, no, that's a bad plan. So we'll see. Uh, we've got some cooked beef. Oh, this is what I have to do for the rest of the freezer meals. So I have to cook beef for nachos, make, make wraps like tortillas, make burrito filling, make the meatballs that I talked about up here, the pork ones. Man, I want to make some chocolate waffles and um, those mini quiches. So those are all things to do for the freezer meals before the baby comes. But for regular meals using some of these random ingredients you just saw. I'm going to do Mexican chicken rice. I usually make a Mexican chicken lasagna and it has like cream cheese and salsa and uh, tostadas and cheese, but I'm going to just eliminate the tostadas and serve it over rice or egg noodles or something. I've got, I'm going to make pizza bagels with those Parmesan bagels because like they're disgusting and that's the only thing I feel like that would go with them. <laughs> it's like making little pizzas on them. I'm gonna make a couple of sausage rolls, pork chops, potatoes, and corn, that meatball coleslaw thing. So you put the meatballs on coleslaw um, and lettuce, it's like a recipe. Uh, then we've got breakfast casserole, spaghetti. I'm gonna use those sub buns to make garlic bread and then hot dogs. And I'm gonna make these chicken sandwiches. There's a Rachel Ray recipe. It's got like apple, it's like an apple barbecue sauce. It's almost like a pulled pork, but with chicken and it's like sweet it's really good um so yeah that's my plan for the next probably week i guess because we'll do some of those for lunches um and then yeah i'll figure out what's left and how to use the leftover stuff so thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you guys got something uh good out of it and educational for you or maybe it was just entertaining all those things are good <laughs> uh, if they were good please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and always don't be afraid to uh, give a thanks down below you can give a thanks by just clicking that little red heart down below and make any kind of donation that you feel comfortable with and it all goes towards my channel and making new videos and i always appreciate it so thank you guys so so much and i'll see you in the next video bye